Joined by Mark Ward now after a fresh from the changing rooms after a two one victory over Pontefract. Can you just talk through the victory in your own words? Um it could probably end up being our best win of the season that because it's so close at the top and to drop points today would have been a bit of a travesty I think. Uh, we've done we played well enough to, to win the game, um, but Ponte didn't stop. They were in his faces, they made it hard for us. Um, but I think if we'd have took more chances early doors, we could have made it easy on ourselves. So to, to win it like we did, it's a massive win, massive win because it's so close at the top. How difficult was it with the conditions as well? Because the conditions didn't help you at all. First off, no, we kicked into a gale force wind, played some great football, um, but second off it dropped um, and that helped them really, kept them in the game because they weren't, they weren't playing into the same, same wind we was. But I just think it, it's, it's hard because you shouldn't have to go and try and win the game in them, them conditions. See it out, ride out the weather and then attack them second half. I think we were a bit gung-ho first half and let them in a few times more than we should have done. Yeah, well, we'll play contact again in a few weeks' time. What do you learn from this game going forward? That we're going to be in for a good battle. That we're going to be in for a good battle. They're a big, strong side. They make you work for, for everything. Every goal, every head, every tackle. So if we don't go there and roll the sleeves up, we'll make it harder for ourselves again. You mentioned, you mentioned it earlier that the title race now is with, especially with Workstop losing today, Teddy winning, it's now wide open. How important is it to pick up these wins against teams that aren't necessarily challenging for a title, but I don't at the bottom. I think these, these points are, are bigger than, than the bigger clubs, the, the four that are really going for it, or the five that are really going for it, because you know your lads are going to be up for them games, because they're against so-called better opposition. So when, when you look at a table and you see a team down there, sometimes you don't give them the respect that they deserve, and it ends up a battle like today, or other games. And if you drop points to the, to the lower teams, it makes the the bigger games even more important. Yeah. So it, I, I believe it's the team that drops less points to the so-called poorer teams that will go on and nick it. Just going back to Swall Ness, because you came here a few weeks ago, was it was there any decision when you got the phone call saying hands up on you? Uh, not really, because Swall Ness gave me uh, my first opportunity um, and it's a club that are wanting to go places and they've got good ambition um, and I wanted to be part of that but then obviously the phone call come for a club like Anzo Paramos who are, are probably five or six years ahead of Swallow Nest um, it's a great opportunity for me um, to work with uh, better players um, and, and a club that's heading in the right direction uh, a bit further on in, in the footballing scale so uh, it, it was difficult but I'm happy with my decision so, just do the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that.